We are in the midst of a new industrial revolution. With the rise of robotics and artificial intelligence, the world around us is evolving faster than ever before. The Office for National Statistics have released a report that 1.5 million workers in England are at high risk of losing their jobs to automation. Robots are poised to take over both menial and skilled labour positions, improving efficiency and quality. But if the future is filled with robot workers, what will be left for us? We have seen three industrial revolutions, each one bringing with it improved living standards, cheaper goods and higher paid work. If we can see that embracing technology has enriched our lives, why are we so afraid of it now? What's different? The jobless future prospect is really terrifying because when you look back throughout history, people ploughed fields and planted seeds all the time. Then, of course, the plough came along and then people got displaced to working in factories and then those factories got more and more automated and then they became knowledge workers. But I guess what's so scary about it is that it hits every aspect of society from, from the manual work, people working in factories and whatever else, all the way up to sort of lawyers and professionals. And so it's causing lots of angst about what the future holds. Technology is evolving faster than we can follow it, down to our laws, our daily lives, at home and in the workplace. Humans can barely keep up with the changing world around them. When the factories of the past installed new machines, it took only a few weeks to train a worker into a machinist. This enabled the increased productivity and gifted the employees with better paid, skilled jobs. But the workforce of present is lacking skills that a few weeks training won't make up for. If robots can do our jobs faster and better, why would anyone need to employ humans? People are worried about the impact on jobs and I think there is going to be one. And we have to think about compensating people for doing work that maybe we don't think of traditionally as work. For example, caring for other people. So I think we may rethink the traditional roles that humans do and we'll put more value on the things that people do that robots aren't so good at. Tasks are going to be automated but jobs themselves are about portfolios of responsibility and you can't really automate that side of things. A lot of people who are doing quite menial work can be able to step up and do more strategic things. If you two have gone back a hundred years and asked somebody that was about to be laid off, would you believe there was a job called massage therapist? They it would just be beyond bewildering to them that somebody would do that. And I guess we are spectacularly unimaginative at what the future jobs will be like. Yes, it's very likely I won't be doing this job in 20 years' time, and there'll be just be new jobs and new opportunities that I haven't quite foreseen. Although we can only speculate at what our daily working lives might consist of in the future, there are things we can do to prepare for it. The Industrial Revolution heralded the arrival of mass education, and why should this revolution be any different? In the past, this change was brought by the need for a literate, skilled workforce. Now we need coders, speakers, creative thinkers and more to take charge and shape our future. It isn't just going to be how you develop AI, it's going to be how you use AI to assist you in the workplace. And therefore, you're going to need creative skills to be able to do that, to be able to analyse the output of AI and work with it. The humanities are going to be as important as the sciences as we go forward, which is a good thing. The fourth industrial revolution will follow its predecessors in the lasting impact it has on our lives. Humans are known for their ingenuity and ability to adapt. If we can embrace the speed of technology, who knows what the future might bring?